Hey Internet, and welcome to the fifth of my fitness vlogs chronicling my journey from fat man to super stud in 28 weeks. This week was the week with lots of irregularities and I'll explain all of those as I go along. Um, in general, it wasn't a bad week. Um, there were an awful lot of changes and those changes I think resulted in a couple of slips. So weight wise, um, as of yesterday morning, which was my weekly weigh in, I ended up being 109.8. Now I'm happy with that, but I was hoping I'd be um, lower. In fact, I was hoping I was gonna be closer to the 109, but unfortunately that didn't happen. Um, so I was down from by just 0.4 kilograms from, from the last week. Um, but I was still happy that um, I was going down and not going up. So that's, that's a step in the right direction. And um, there were a number of gym changes that I made. So I suppose I should explain then how the week went. Um, on Tuesday, I decided to head down to my physiotherapist. So I had planned this, that I would work hard for four weeks, four consecutive solid weeks, um, to demonstrate that I could actually do any kind of consistent work on a plan like this. And uh, once that was complete, then I said I would go down to my physio to ask for his advice on whether or not I should continue uh, with my program. Hey David, by the way. Um, so um, he gave some really excellent advice. He said the work I'd done so far was good, but that can, to continue jogging on a daily basis was going to cause some uh, problems for uh, for me, in particular for legs and tendons and whatever else. So he had uh, some suggestions of how I might alter that. So obviously, my the amount of time that I was doing so was I think close to the seven minutes or seven minutes. It was seven minutes as of last week. Um, wasn't really enough to do too much damage. But he said, as I go on further, it'll eventually cause some harm. So, um, the resulting change of that uh, from that conversation is that I'm now jogging once every second day rather than once every day. And my plan last week was to increment those. Uh, jog sessions by 15 seconds each time um, however now that I'm only jogging every second day instead of every day I've decided to actually increment it every uh, increment by 30 seconds every session so um, so I think this was a little bit irregular because I started off during the week by doing only 15 seconds and then I had to catch up but I'm delighted to say that by the time I got to Saturday which was my last day of jogging I managed to get up to 8 minutes 30 seconds which was the plan so that was fantastic and um, part of that was as a result of uh, going for a jog in the real world which was actually kind of scary a friend of mine Joe, hey Jojo um, came over from the UK and stayed with me and she forced me to go out into nature now nature and I have an agreement um, I have decided and agreed to buy an electric car and she has agreed to stop trying to kill me with volcanoes and poisonous monkeys and dogs with bees in their mouths um, so I was really expecting to die or to kill other people or something uh, horrible to happen uh, during our jog in the park. But thankfully, and perhaps not surprisingly, nothing of the sort happened. Uh, what was surprising is I managed to do 14 minutes of jogging um, with Jojo. So it probably was Joe was the, the, the factor, the extra factor in there. So um, that was definitely my longest by far. In fact, I doubled, I doubled the time that I've been doing right up until Saturday. But um, it was at a slower pace, so um, it's good to know that I can do longer at a slower pace, but I want to keep the pace that I'm going at. It did give me the encouragement to push all the way through and um, to get myself to that 8 minutes 30 on Saturday. So thanks Jojo for that. That, that definitely did work. Um, so with that change in the jogging, then I also decided to add in, um, again on David's advice, on my physios, uh, physiotherapist's advice, to add in a cross trainer on the other days. So I'm now doing cross trainer, um, I think on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, and jogging on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays. And the cross trainer, I'm doing 20 minutes on a relatively simple hill program. Um, there are levels one to 20 um, on, the, on the cross trainer machines in my gym. So I start at level five and I'm increasing by one level each session. So I'm, I think at level seven as of yesterday. So hopefully level eight tomorrow. Um, so that's grand. I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna maintain the time uh, at 20 minutes. I just wanna kind of push the difficulty 
little bit by little bit and see where I get to. I also made some changes in relation to weights. Uh, this was also a plan. So basically week five was going to be a change and week um, nine will also be a big change. But um, so in relation to weights, what I've decided to do now, I was previously just doing um, eight reps uh, of a particular weight for four sets and then I would do nine the next time and then I do 10 the next time and then I'd increase to the next half weight. What I've decided to do, one of the problems with doing that in that way was I was restricting myself, even though I could do more than eight uh, initially, um, say certainly for the first set and second set, maybe even the third set, I wouldn't. I wouldn't allow myself to go any further. I would do my eight, then I would do my nine, then I would do my 10, and that was the way I, I stuck to it. And that was fine for the first four weeks, but I've decided now to just try and stress my body a little more. So now I actually always go for 10. I always just try to go for 10, and of course, usually in the first uh, first uh, set, I'm fine. Uh, second set is a little harder, but I seem to have been able to do it so far. Third set is usually very difficult, if not impossible, and the fourth set is generally a bust. But um, I've also decided to change the way I'm recording this. So I always record what I do um, through a, a myriad of apps, but what I've decided now to, to it simplifies the recording, but it's also to try and change a kind of uh, my psychological attitude towards this. Um, I now only record whether or not I've done one or ten um, of uh, one or ten reps. And the reason behind that is not that I'm only doing one. I'm usually doing a lot more than one. But I only care whether or not I get to the ten. I, I don't want to limit myself by what I got the previous time. So I don't want to see that I actually only got seven or I only got six on the fourth set or the third set. And think, well, I just need to get to eight or I just need to get to the nine or whatever it is. I just want to constantly push myself towards ten, ten, ten. And sometimes I'll get it and sometimes I, I won't. Um, I don't know if this is going to increase the speed at which I'm going through uh, the weights. Probably not. Uh, and, I, and I don't really care about increasing speed. But hopefully it will stress out my system just a little bit diff uh, in, in a slightly different way to the way I did it before. So I think that's most of the changes that I made this last week, which were quite a few. Um, so for this coming week, uh, already started, um, what I plan to do is I really want to get... Uh, my weight down to 109. So 109 is milestone number two for me. So milestone number two officially is below 110. But I've, I've chosen actually all the values below, uh, just one kilogram below that. So one kilogram below 110, one kilogram below 105 and so on. The reason being is because weight obviously fluctuates so, uh, so much that I kind of want to solidly say, yes, I'm definitely below 110 or below whatever it is and less likely to go up well assuming i'm not increasing less likely to go up a whole kilogram so 109 then is milestone number two and i'm due to reach that not next monday but the monday after if i reach it next monday then i'll be one week ahead and i'll be absolutely delighted i was hoping to do that this week but wasn't to be and um, but i would have been two weeks ahead and, and that would have been fantastic but if one week ahead is just just brilliant so um, so that's one of my key goals. So I'm going to be a little bit more strict with my calorie counting. I think part of the problem as well last week is I kind of slipped up on the calorie counting. I didn't do it as strictly every day. So I think I, I, I went over uh, some of my calories. Um, I want to consolidate my 30 second increments on the jogging. And that seems to be going fine. Um, as of this morning, as I said, I was at nine minutes. So I hope by the time I get to Saturday, I should be at 10 minutes. And that would be just fantastic. That's just great. And in terms of my stamina um, projection, which I, I wanted to get to 20 minutes overall, then I'm halfway through, halfway to that goal. So that's, that'd be just brilliant. So that'd be really, really good. So I'm working towards that. Weights wise, I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing at the moment. I'm just going to uh, work with that approach. Although I'd be very happy to hear if anybody out there um, uh, is more experienced with weights training and wants to give some advice, please do uh, give me, uh, put that advice in comments, either on YouTube or on Facebook. I'd love to hear, hear what you have to say about that. So there are my goals anyway for this coming week. Uh, I, I, I think they're achievable. I think I can do that. Uh, so far, I'm, 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 I'm getting, I, I'm keep, keep, keeping going and getting where I need to go. So um, thank you very much again for all of your support and your comments. I very much appreciate them. And I will see you again next week.